I'm Brian Abel. Here are your headlines from 7 Action News. A 19-year-old student is dead after she was shot and killed while at home on break from Michigan State University. Lanaya Bell left Lansing to visit her family in Chicago for Christmas break when the shooting took place. Officers tell us Bell was spending the night at her boyfriend's apartment at the time. That's when a witness inside the home heard a gunshot and found the teen in an apartment bedroom. Police are calling this a homicide, a murder, because no weapon was found on the scene. Bell's boyfriend is in custody in connection to the shooting. Bell was on a full ride academic scholarship at Michigan State studying journalism. Marvin Jones Jr., wide receiver for the Lions and his wife Jasmine, took to Instagram to reveal that their youngest son, Marlo, has suddenly passed away. Jones posted a tribute to the six month old child on Instagram, saying it's hard to believe his little angel has passed. The Detroit Lions also re releasing a statement saying in part Marvin and Jasmine embody the true meaning of family and that the example, example they set has made them an inspiration to so many in our community. Jones, a father of five. The Detroit police are investigating after a man reportedly broke into a home and took off with a handful of gifts and then bragged about it on social media. Jamie White says the man also made off with a priceless family heirloom. The robbery happened on the morning of December 20th on Mansfield Street on the city's west side. Security cameras show the man walking away with the gifts. White says all he wants back, though, is the necklace of his grandmother's that the suspect is seen wearing on his Instagram page. Detroit police still trying to find the suspect. Now let's get a check of weather with Mike Taylor. Mike. Heavy rain arrives tonight and it's going to stay with us going into your Sunday morning all the way through lunchtime and then it comes back for Sunday night going into Monday morning. 55 on Sunday, 51 on Monday, but then we're down to 35 as we bring in the new year 2020 on a cooler note. In fact, 38 degrees, the high temperature on Wednesday. All right, Mike, those are your headlines. Remember, you can always go to WXYZ.com and our app for news anytime. I'm Brian Abel. Have a good day.